Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, we got the geese, they're playing in their water. They got some clean water. Um, but I got a project going on here. This is a goose house and the geese never use it. So I'm repurposing it. Um, as you can see, I got a pallet there. I'm not, not going to use that, but this pallet, I've got it cinched to the wall there. And then it's got like a doorway. Maybe if I come in here, you can see it better. As you can see. And I'm going to cut a hole down there. And it's going to be the pig pen. So, and you see I got, that's got a trough for them. I'm going to dig it in better. But I'll have a trough for the pigs. And then, hopefully I want to get my own pigs. So, the pigs that are on the farm aren't mine. But she has three males and two females. Or no, three males and one female. Okay. So, okay, geeseys. Now, they, my damn uh, goats have been eating on my uh, olive tree, which has kind of got me, you know, it's grown quite a bit this summer. My lemon tree's protected, but my olive tree, this thing was over and it ghost kept knocking it down bending the tree over and they've eaten some of the leaves off of it but i got this gate the problem is the geese can't come through this wire the ducks can so the geese are outside they're going to be stuck outside their enclosure and if they're inside then you know i just want to keep the goats out of there what i was saying okay this is the back part of my garden look at the peppers and they're still growing producing peppers Everything else has kind of gone to shit, pretty much. The tomatoes were here, and I pulled them out. Look at all those mushrooms. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if they're edible kinds. They could be. Anyway, this is the little area I got here. This is the back side of where you saw inside. I'm going to cut a hole in that. Uh, probably over in that corner right there where there's already a gap. I don't have I don't have a sawzall that's worth a shit anymore. I tried to get one for my birthday, but got a goat instead. But I might see if I can borrow a sawzall from someone. I do have um, some jigsaws, which I suppose I could use. And the jigsaw might be better because the blades would fit through those little lats. And I'll make a hole there, and then this area. All the way to that fence is going to be the hog area. I still got some debris I got to move out of here. This was my work area because it's under the shade. But I didn't really use it that much this summer. And it just, so I was like, you know, I'll just put my, uh, put the hog pen right here. And the hog, uh, the hog panels are like, uh, $35 a piece. I only need one. They're 16 foot long. So that's 12 foot right there from that to maybe a little over 12 foot from the goose house to the uh, fence line. So the pigs will be out here in the garden. So they got to be real secure because they get loose to eat up my garden probably. Now this is uh, okra and there's already one okra on there. Okay, right now the pigs are sharing the goat place, which I'm not really too keen on that, but it seems like it's working out though. And there's my Legolas, the white one, that's mine. That's my birthday present. Hi, Legolas. Legolas likes me too. Shadow is my wife and my stepdaughter's goat, but... This guy, he's my, he, he my Darren goat, aren't you, buddy? Yes, you are, there. This cutest little thing ever. I've always wanted a goat. This is my first goat. We're going to look at a goat on uh, Saturday. But my wife's saying that, you know, probably not going to get it. We want female, we want a bunch of female goats. Um, you know, they're the ones that produce the milk. And my wife and stepdaughter making uh, 
soap. They got their own business now. They sell uh, goose soap called, uh, they have a website too. It's uh, uh, Midnight's Little Secret. That's what it's called. Midnight's Little Secret. You can do a search, see if you can find it. Um, they have a little store. They sell soap and foot, foot uh, stuff you soak your feet in. I don't know what else they have. Different herbal things. They're the geeseys. And my turkeys, I need to get them water. I need to get the, and see what Thanksgiving's looking. He's getting big. Hi, buddy. He's getting big. You doing all right Thanksgiving? Yeah. You're doing all right, guys. That's Tom, Blue, and Delta. That's right. There's a Theodore. Hi, Theodore. Well, that gives you a little insight of what's going on. I'm trying to build this um, goat pen or pig pen. I don't really don't want the pigs uh, living with the goats. The pigs are going to get bigger. Even though they're pot belly pigs, um, I just you know they might. I I just rather keep part. I gotta. So that's that's why I built. I'm building a hog pen. I also need to build another pen for the goat. Um, for the female goats, I'm not sure if I'm going to use my yard or that field behind. Um, but uh, that's kind of the plan right now. Is um build a goat pen and then build a, uh, another um, pen for the for the um, goats the female goats and we're going to keep the male that pen there that's going to be Legolas's pen um, and I'm not sure I'm going to you know she lets them loose in the yard they're probably loose right now in the yard with the pigs and pigs running around loose and the goats running around loose um that's okay for now, but um, I'm going to have to start putting my foot down because, you know, uh, can't just let them, you know, do that. <laughs> I know I'm not making sense maybe, but goats, female goats, and male goats, people are telling me I need to keep them separate. Now, he's just a baby right now, Legolas, so. And he, he he's going to get more filled out. You can have his bigger goatee and more hair and kind of like a, a goat's mane the males uh get a lot of a lot of facial hair and he's got little bumps for horns his horns are going to come in and he's going to be pretty cool now the one i wanted to get up in uh or at the um swap meet on saturday um lady that i bought my black ducks from and i've sold her some rabbits in the past um She's a Facebook friend, and she's bringing a goat, because I told her we're looking for a female goat, but, excuse me, a little gassy up here, but um, she, uh, she's going to bring this goat, and, but the problem is the goat pulled, P-O-L-L-E-D, that means they don't have horns, now they're, um, means they're born without horns you can debud them which some people do they'll debud their goats to get rid of the horns my wife and uh stepdaughter don't really want a goat that's been that doesn't have horns um stepdaughter likes to do artwork with the skulls she says so if we eat any she wants the skulls to do stuff with well okay i can understand that but this is a beautiful goat. Comes from a good breeder, and it's got blue eyes. Blue eyes is kind of rare in goats. So, both I don't know if both parents. I think both parents had blue eyes, but the 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 um, buck had horns, and the doe didn't. So this one was born without a whole. Uh, it's called naturally pulled. Sometimes they breed them that way, and you can buy ones that are bred that way and all their babies are not going to have horns this one would probably produce at least half the babies would have horns because legolas will have horns 
And I'd like to get the goat, but it's uh, 150 bucks. My wife's not really willing to pay that much, I don't think. Because we got Legolas for like $25 at, at the auction. At midnight, I think they paid 100 bucks for her. I was in the hospital when they bought Midnight. But a lot, lot's going on. I got some more builds going. It's getting cooler out, so it's easier to do the builds. Like in the summer, man, it's so scorching hot. You go out there and work for 10 minutes. You come in because you're dizzy. You know, when you get old, you can't be out in the heat that long. But anyway, you guys have a good day and a better tomorrow.